I didn't really take the singing thing real serious. It was more the, the writing that was, that was my for real, for real love. Um, I would write the songs, sing them back to myself, be satisfied, and then put my, my red notebook back under my bed. He didn't go to Las Vegas Academy for music. He went to Las Vegas Academy for art. He's an amazing artist. Every year, this school would throw a talent show, big talent show, they called it a pop concert, and they would do it, do it up really, really big, like a, like a real concert. You know, the school had a really big theater, and then all the kids would come, and the parents and the whole nine. So the kids that were singers and actors made a really, really big deal at this concert, like to the point where it's people in the lunchroom crying because this is just not gonna be right for pop concert, it's gonna be fun. And like, mind you, I'm an art major, so me and all the art majors, we were like the grassy knoll kids, so we sitting over here laughing at how serious everybody's taking this day. It's a talent show, it's a high school talent show at that. Relax, okay? No major labels coming to the high school talent show, it's not happening. Anyway, we decided this particular year that we were going to do something to kind of just bring all the bring all the seriousness down with this with this concert. So we drew straws. I drew the short straw, and the plan was for me to audition for this concert, get in, but then when I get on stage, do something completely stupid like moon the crowd or do something and run off. Right? This was the plan. So I drew the short straw, went into the choir room, I sang uh, "Boys to Men" in the road, and um, when I was done. The choir teacher was like, why are you not in my class? I was like, I'm not in your class because I'm an art major. And she was like, I understand that, but why are you not in my class? So, I, but I ignored that at the time. I didn't realize that she was giving, that she was paying me a compliment. I was like, whatever, I'm, I'm in. Yeah, you're in, all right, cool. So, the day comes, the night comes, I should say. Uh, it's my turn, I get on stage. Everybody's done these, these big, like, just overproduced, uh, for high school, overproduced performances and just made a really big deal out of this whole thing, so it's my turn. So I get up there, the music starts, and I kid you not, from the second the music started, uh, the crowd disappeared. Like, I'm looking out, and the chairs are empty. Mind you, they're there, but they're not there, if you know what I mean. So uh, I just start singing. I sang the song, I got all the way through the song, and when I was done, the crowd came back, and it was like, just a room full of open mouths. Because mind you, everybody at this point knew me. This is like 11th grade, so everybody knew me but they knew me as the little dude that could draw, that'd be over there, you know what I mean? I wasn't a part of the, the, so, the quote unquote in crowd, a cool crowd with this, with this school. I wasn't that dude, I was art major. So, um, a lot of jaws on the floor, uh, slow rising applause, oh my, what the hell just happened? Oh my God, it was, it was one of those. So I'm standing there like, ran off, right? The next day is girls that I swore didn't know me from a can of paint. It was like, hey, Schaefer, how you doing? I'm like, e? hey, what's, what's going on? I just, she know me. It was that. It was, I was getting all kind of attention from girls and, and, and the cooler kids and all of that. I guess his street cred went up. He was never cool. To me, he was always a nerd, but hey, that's my gentleman. That was when I realized that it was more than just, you know, my little pastime. You know, uh, uh, just something that I, something that I was putting together in my room every other night. It was, it was more than that. It was bigger than that, or could be bigger than that. That was the realization. And um, shortly after that, I, I started taking steps towards doing this professionally.